my old laptop cooling pad is dead and I have a new one. This one. Kutek. Is that how you say that? It says, five built-in fans, super quiet, red LED lights. You can get this in blue too, but I got the red one. And it fits 12 to 17 inch laptops. It has two USB ports. And what I like about it, it has buttons you press to turn it on. Unlike my old one that had weird little wheels. Now this one says no external power supply is needed, but I'm not sure if plugging one of these into your laptop makes your laptop run hotter. But I also don't want to damage it by plugging it into something else and maybe having too much power go into it. Is that a thing? Can that happen? It also has a high quality stand with six adjustable height settings. So that's pretty cool. My old one only had two. But you know what? Let's get this thing open. All right. Wow. There's not much in there. That's empty. Well, here it is. Let's open it. What's in here? We got some paperwork in there. Let's see what the paperwork is here. It's just the user manual. I don't think you want to see that or care. So, what do we got? Okay, so that 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 comes down fast. <laughs> if you're going to hold this thing, put your thumbs on the back of it. So what do we got here? A cooling pad, and in the back is our cable. I wonder if that's already in there. Oh, you know what? Okay, I like that. This has the cable connected to the cooling pad. So these USB ports are available. These USB ports are available. Unlike my other one, where you had to plug the power into one of these, these are both available because the power cord is connected right to the cooling pad. It has two buttons you press for the power. They feel kind of okay, kind of strange. A little cheap, but it's not an expensive cooling pad. Obviously, we have our two USB ports and the lights to indicate when it's on. In the front, we have two little stoppers to keep your laptop from sliding off. In the center, you can see it has one big fan and it has some small fans around it. Let's see how high this thing can get. Now that's, that's pretty high. That's higher than my other one got. My other one was probably like that at best. Now, as far as build quality goes, it feels okay. Like, some of the plastic on the back, especially this thing, feels a little cheap. But, I mean, what do you expect for a cheap cooling pad? But it feels sturdier than my old one did. So now, I just have to plug it in and see if it works. Okay, I have it plugged in. Let's see what happens. All four of the little fans are on. Now let's see if the big fan comes on. Looks like it does. With them all on, that's what you have. Feels pretty cool. Okay, so we checked it out. We looked at all its features. We made sure it works. The only thing left is to see what the laptop looks like on it and to see how high it actually makes the laptop sit. So there's the laptop sitting just flat on the cooling pad and that's what you get. That's raised up to, it's, the second notch in, but it's technically the first, because if you use the other one, it's pretty much flat. All right, let's just get it into the last one here. I'm curious what that's like. <laughs> there it is on the last one. That's definitely going to get air. And this, you definitely need, because it's leaning so much that it's definitely sitting on those little stoppers there. I like that the instruction manual calls those little things in the front flappers. <laughs> wow, that is an insanely big difference. It is very much higher than it was before. Look at that. It seems like it's doing its job so far. Fans seem to be on still. Seems pretty sturdy. I like it. So I'll have to mess around. Whoops. So I'll have to mess around with this thing and see if being this high is actually how I want it. See if it's comfortable in my hands when I'm playing a game. It might not be, I might have to lower it, I don't know. But so far I like it. I like that it's up higher, I don't know. Just kinda cool. <laughs> so I do have my cooling pad plugged into an externally plugged in USB 3.0 hub. The hub is plugged into my laptop, but the cooling pad is plugged into the hub. I, I think I feel like it makes more sense to not be drawing power from the laptop to power the, the cooling pad. Hopefully that's not a problem. I don't see why it should be. Maybe I should check it to see if it's still on. Looks like we're okay. So I think I showed you about everything I can. These things are pretty basic. It's just a laptop cooling pad. You plug it in and you hope it works for a while. Hopefully this video was somewhat informative and helpful. I always feel like these videos I make are terrible, 
but I, I try my best to make them helpful. I don't know whether or not I accomplished that, but hope I did. And if you watch this video, I appreciate it. Thank you very much. And maybe I'll see you around on the internet again someday.